This is the solution to assignment number 1.2, question 9. The question was absolute value of 6 minus 2x is equal to the absolute value of 5x plus 7. So once again, uh, we're going to have two equations. And in the first one, what we're saying is the absolute value of what's on the left can equal the positive value of what's on the right because the absolute value of something positive is positive. So either 6 minus 2x is equal to 5x plus 7, or it would also be okay if 6 minus 2x were equal to the negative of this, because then what we're doing is we're saying, well, you have a positive value is equal to a positive value. So it still doesn't matter. In both cases, they're going to be equal. So 6 minus 2x is equal to the negative of 5x plus 7. Remember, we're taking the absolute value. So in both cases, 5x plus 7, the absolute value of 5x plus 7, and the absolute value of negative 5x plus 7 are going to be the same thing. So they're both going to equal 6 minus 2x. So now we just have these two equations and we're going to solve them. So personal preference is to keep my x's positive. So if we look at the equation on the left first, we can add 2x to both sides. That's going to give us 6 is equal to 7x plus 7. And then we want our x's on one side and our constants on the other. So we want to move the 7 to the other side. We can do that by subtracting 7 from both sides. 6 minus 7 is negative 1. So we get negative 1 is equal to 7x. And then divide both sides by 7. And we get that x is equal to negative 1 over 7. This is our first solution. Okay, then we have our second equation. So again, absolute value of 5x plus 7 and absolute value of negative 5x plus 7 are the same thing. So we're going to first distribute the negative. That's going to give us 6 minus 2x. is equal to negative 5x plus 7. Sorry, negative 5x minus 7. I apologize for that. Once again, I prefer my x's to be positive, so I'm going to add 5x to both sides here. which is going to leave us with 6 plus 3x is equal to negative 7. We want to get the 6 to the other side, so we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. That's going to leave us with 3x is equal to negative 13. And then we can just divide both sides by 3. And that gives us our second solution. x equals negative 13 over 3. So our solutions here are negative 1 over 7 and negative 13 over 3. And that's it.